हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू विल फाइंड योर सोल्यूशन नियर सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रेन मोबाइल नेट वी टू फॉर योर कस्टम डेटा सेट सो आई हैव दीज टू डेटा सेट्स लाइक डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्लासेस लाइक थ्री एंड थ्री सिक्स सेवन एंड सिक्स थर्टीन क्लासेस फॉर ट्रेनिंग एंड थर्टीन क्लासेस फॉर वेलिडेशन सो इन साइड लाइक बोथ फोल्डर वी हैव टू क्रिएट for training like uh, for every class we will be having some images and as well as like in validation also same class but uh, like validation images so after creating the data set uh, i have imported this mobile net from keras so let's import it and uh, after that like uh, we will be importing some other layers and uh, some activation functions from tensorflow keras dot layers so uh, if you want to like explain everything in this tensorflow i'll be explaining but today we are going to focus only like how to train at mobile net on custom data set so let's run this again then uh, right like uh, in this i'm importing mobile net v2 from this keras dot applications then glow max uh, average spooling dense dropout activation flatten these are the layers you know then batch normalization and uh, model sequential model okay after that uh, i am importing weights from image net okay image net then let's uh, okay then i'm um, what i'm doing here like uh, let's get the like inside the mobile net v2 all the layer names like which layer is where placed so as we can see like layer number 42 convolution then batch normalization then convolution batch normal relu activation okay after that uh, let's like uh, make all the trainable layers to make equals to false so we'll not be training these layers already pre trained and then we'll be adding few layers to get the uh, ex exact output as we wanted so it is the like bottom part of the model like uh, let's draw online drawer so basically what happens you know when we create a model like uh, let's suppose this is a model and we have to we have to get the output so we'll be adding few layers to get the output so these are the those layers then we will be adding max uh, average pooling then three dense layers four dense layers and relu 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 activations then softmax softmax is like uh, because we are having multiple multiple classes that's why softmax then we are doing image data generator uh, like uh, importing from tensorflow pre processing to pre process the data then we'll be giving the directory names both training and uh, validation and make sure you are having bo in both directory same folders and uh, same same number of folders with same names then some pre processing like uh, rescaling rotation range width range height range horizontal flip flip fill mode like that then we'll be using this uh, flow from directory so let's run this like uh, i think i have run this okay then let's uh, import image data generator give the directory names then let's pre process like uh, what we want to do with the images like normalizing the images then batch size i've given then flow from directory so here we'll be giving the directory name like as i have already described so then these are the target size what uh, the output we want image height uh, image width like that okay then same as validation also so when i will run this i got 13 classes in both validation folder and uh, training folder 35 images for training and 73 images for validation after that uh, let's uh, get the train classes so what i did like uh, you know just file names i'm getting so it is like easy way to create classes class names same for validation so 335 images for training and 73 for validation after that let's get the model summary because we are using this bottom layer na 
as I already described here this one so after that uh, we got this model summary so in the end we can see we have added few more dense layers these layers we have ended added after that uh, RMS prop just optimizer and model checkpoint like uh, where we want to if the model is not getting trained it will early stopping so it will be saving on every checkpoint then it will stop if the I'll give the patients uh, three then maximum three it will wait and if I'll give uh, like maximum number of patients how many more iterations we want to train like uh, it is not uh, still updating but we want to train more so right now just uh, two because I don't uh, have that much time in this video so let's run this uh, first uh, some of importing then let's train so it is training it will take a file so until then like uh, we can wait but you know in video I cannot make it so long video so that's why I have to pause it and then restart it again so guys uh, like it got early stopped because uh, validation lost did not improve two times so as we gave the patience of two uh, it got then let's uh, run the inference on this model so it has been saved as uh, you can see last it got saved here restoring the model so here facial recognition dot h5 then I'm just running the inference so for the inference what we will be doing like uh, I'm reading the image then some con color conversion then resizing and after that just model dot predict so let's run this let's see what the output will be Uh, uh, in my device I'm not having GPU that's why it is taking time so let's wait and uh, we'll be finishing so I hope uh, I helped you so see this is showing unknown class because I'm not having that much data so my model is not performing well but I hope this will help you to how to train your model with your custom data set for classification thank you everyone I hope you find this video helpful and uh, I know that like this video is not uh, so good in my data set and but uh, I hope this will help you to train your classifier on custom data set thank you everyone and please do like subscribe and comment if you want to help something in your code thank you everyone